adding roles and adding users in a system that can be very complex like Hike Central requires a little bit of forethought. Now you might remember from earlier videos that we can add a user to the system just by clicking on our basic settings wizard. And here we have our add user icon. But in this case, we're talking about both roles and users. And the place to do that is from the sidebar security icon. And here we have both roles and users. If you're doing this for the first time, you're probably going to want to start with the roles before you add users. Otherwise, you won't have any roles to assign to the users. Let's go ahead and see what it's like to create a new role. So I currently have roles selected. And on the right side of the screen are roles that have been created by other administrators within the system. I'm going to go ahead and click on add and create a new role. And the first thing I need to do is give this role a name. If I want, I can copy the role permissions from other roles that have been created by myself or other system administrators. So just to show you how that works, I'll go ahead and click Hike Sale Zero. Next would be the expiration date for this role. As you can see, it's set for the year 2099 or virtually infinite expiration you can make it something more reasonable if you wish to do so. And finally, you have a description block where you can type in a reminder to yourself of what this role actually has access to in simple terms. Now, even though the role is predefined, I could go ahead and make changes to it. From the area display rule, I can change which areas are going to be shown or hidden to users assigned to this role. In resource access, I can choose the access level that someone has. Can they access all resources in a particular area? Or I can identify access to access only specific resources within an area. Finally, user permissions, where I can set up different permission levels for both resource permission and the web client permissions and control client permissions. So for instance, within a camera, I could take away or allow different permission sets. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and click on add and that role has now been added to the system. And there's my role there, one, two, three, four. I could repeat those steps and create different roles with different permissions or access levels. Next thing I can do now is start adding my users. So I switch to the users tab and I click on add. I'm gonna type in the user's name. This is gonna be the name that that user is gonna to use to log in with. In this case, we'll make it M. Smith. The password is pre-assigned. Notice that there's a little blue information icon here. The new user's default password is ABC123. User will be asked to change the password at first login. Expiry date. So here I give this particular user access for a year, or I could make it longer, depending on the situation. I can choose whether that user is active or inactive. Perhaps you have users that are contractors that come and go. They're there for a month, they're gone for two months. You may want to take away their access temporarily without deleting their entire user profile. And of course, a description block where you can type in additional information to yourself. We have a few other things to look at. PTZ control permission. This is gonna be a number from one to 100 with 100 being the highest. Two different users want to access a PTZ. The one with the higher permission can take control over the lower permission. And finally, we want to assign a role to this user. So earlier we created this role 1234. I can go ahead and choose this role. The description shows on the other side. Now you might notice that all those other roles that we saw earlier are not there. And that's because I didn't create those roles. So it only shows me the roles that I have created for my personnel. Now, don't let this fool you. In a typical system, there's just one system administrator. Because this is a demo system, we have so many different administrators is why we see things like this. Now, if for some reason the role that I wanted is not there, I could go ahead and click here to add new role. And it'll take me right back around to where we were before, where we can go ahead and add a role. But this time, I can go ahead and click on add and my new user with the assigned role has been added to the system. For more detailed information, be sure and check out the user manual and follow best practices for creating users and roles.